Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're going to be going over automating VSTs. So I'm going to drop in everyone's favorite VST. But first, I'm going to create a MIDI track by right-clicking, creating MIDI track, selecting this, right-clicking, insert MIDI clip. Cool. Pressing B and dropping in some MIDI there. Pressing B again to get rid of that. All right, so we have that. Let's drop in everyone's favorite synthesizer and uh, the initial preset, everyone's favorite initial preset. All right, we got that. So let's modulate, or not modulate, let's automate the, we'll have this on two things here. We'll automate the cutoff. So what you can do basically is anything on Ableton you can click on and you'll notice that uh, Ableton just kind of learns where it is and that's all well and good. Uh, so we will, you know, automate the cutoff. Uh, and another trick what we can do is we can select our little pointer tool, uh, hold shift, click on any of these little dots and move it around and we can just smooth things out and that's all well and good. So you don't have to like double click all the time. So you can kind of smooth things out, whatnot, you know, double click, move things around and that's all well and good. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to do that again. So I'll get rid of that. All right. So that's one way to do it. Another way to do it is to click on this little arrow here. Click on that. And what we want is we want Ableton to learn, we want to tell Ableton like what is important to us. So we'll click on configure, we'll click on cutoff, uh, resonance, mm, drive, uh, the release of um, the amplifier envelope, um, and for fun, that portamento. All right, cool. So we have all those. We'll click configure again. So we can just get rid of this completely. And we have what's important to us down here in Ableton knows, you know, where it is. And of course, we can modulate that again. We can create automation lanes for each of them. And you can do weird stuff like that. Uh, filter drive. We can have this. We can select this hold shift and we can bring it all up super easy all right and we can even increase the port amount of time over the course of the track and just keep on adding stuff and uh doing all that and that's pretty much uh how you would automate vsts and uh, different kinds of plugins you can basically automate anything that has a value so any kind of synthesizer or uh, effect or plugin that has a value you can automate and yeah that's basically it uh, hope you learned stuff and we'll be back with some more stuff